I? <laughs> I don't know where to start with this video. As a Serious Sam fan, I've defended all the other Serious Sam games, including Serious Sam 2. I genuinely thought it was a good game, just not as good as the others. But there's no defending Serious Sam 4. This is a buggy game that is not polished and not finished on launch. And to make something clear, I am not playing the review copy. I am playing Serious Sam 4 after the patches. Hey everyone, as always Jarek here, and let me explain what's so bad about Serious Sam 4, because you've probably heard plenty about it online, or maybe didn't even know it was coming out. In fact, that's the only reason I didn't have a review copy. I totally forgot Serious Sam 4 was launching until the day it came out, and then it was already busy until now. Let's start with the obvious. This game just looks bad. And what's curiously frustrating about it is that some parts of it look way worse than others. The weapon models, the enemy animations, those look pretty good. And then they're standing on top of some textureless floor with terrible lighting. If I took Serious Sam's model out of this game and just showed you screenshots of it, you might assume that it's a Unity asset flip. This doesn't look like a Serious Sam game to me. If I showed you Serious Sam 4 and told you it was a Serious Sam 3 mod, you might believe me. In fact, Serious Sam 3 looks way better in many ways. And that game came out nine years ago. That's the part that really stands out to me. There's always been a big jump graphically between the Serious Sam games. But with Serious Sam 4, that's not the case. It looks worse than the game that came before it. And like I said, some things do look genuinely good. The weapons and enemy animations are fantastic. It just feels like the rest of the game wasn't finished. This is going to blend over to my next point, but first I want to talk about something a little more subjective, because I can't necessarily say this is right or wrong objectively, but just how I feel. I've not really liked how Serious Sam has evolved over the years artistically. To me, the best looking Serious Sam games are still the first encounter, the second encounter, and the next encounter. These games have a pseudo-realistic look, but it's still cartoony enough to pick out that it's Serious Sam, and it doesn't take itself too seriously. Serious Sam 2 went full cartoony, which I don't think kills the game by any means, but I definitely didn't like this art style as much as the first games. Serious Sam 3 took the complete opposite direction, which is more realistic looking, which I like even less than Serious Sam 2's art direction, and Serious Sam 4 seems to have just continued on what Serious Sam 3 did. Except in this regard, you can't even tell it's a Serious Sam game. This just looks like a generic modern military shooter. Sam is comically out of place here. Now I know that's kind of some of the point of Serious Sam, it's supposed to be a joke, you're not supposed to take it seriously, however there seems to be a complete lack of self-awareness, like they're trying way too hard in Serious Sam 4. And that leads to my next point, the story. The writing is awful in this game. The whole game is full of these characters that look like modern military characters, but constantly try to spew jokes that just aren't funny and are really cringeworthy at times. That's right, you sons of bitches! I fuck metal! I fuck your whole army! Come at me, you alien pendejos! You want Mexican? I got Mexican! You want American? I got American! Y'all wanna bite me? Come get your Chile con carne! This really reminds me of the progression of the new Wolfenstein games. The writing in the New Order is great. The writing in Youngblood, not great. Stop, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna leave a comment saying, it's Serious Sam, who cares about the story? And I would agree with you if cutscenes weren't around every corner. You can't get away from them. You can skip them, but there's so many. And the second thing is that part of Serious Sam's charm is Serious Sam, the character himself. He has a lot of charisma, and his one-liners are usually funny but even that seems to be missing in Serious Sam 4. To make all these matters worse when it comes to the story, my god, these characters are hideous. There seems to be a complete lack of proper motion capture in this game. Faces do not move while they're talking. Everyone's eyes are completely wide open. They blink once every five minutes, and even then, that looks awful. Oh no, I'm afraid of this guy now. Fuck. <laughs> That was actually no facial expression when she's yelling. <laughs> None of this looks natural. None of the characters speaking seem natural. The writing is bad, the voice acting is bad, the motion capture is bad. Nothing about this is compelling, and it might as well have not even been in the game. This is what makes it the most obvious in saying, this game is not finished. And it's a little weird because the game was already pushed back twice. I can only imagine they pushed this buggy mess out because of Google Stadia. The most frustrating part about all of this is that somewhere underneath all of this garbage and unfinished content 
is a really good Serious Sam game, and I can kind of see it, but it's just not finished. Let's start with the weapons, because they do genuinely feel good. They feel better than any Serious Sam game that came before. When I say this, I mean very simple things. These guns are loud. They shake your screen all over the place. Recoil feels like recoil. They do feel good. These are the same guns coming back from previous Serious Sam games, which is not a bad thing. These are fun to use, and if you give us some new enemies and the occasional new gun, they'll serve us just fine. One of the new guns you can get is a fully automatic shotgun which uses different ammunition from the double barrel and regular pump action. I actually like this, it means you're going to use both of them a lot. And it wouldn't be Serious Sam without the kamikazes and the enemies we've all known to love. Or you know, hate. A lot of people hate the clear. I'm not one of those people. I think they're perfectly fine as enemies, and I'm not sure why everyone hates them. Really though, Serious Sam has a lot of iconic enemies. Most of these enemies find their way back into this game, and they're animated fairly well. If you want a game to shoot kamikazes and robots with chicken legs, then this game still exists to fill that role. However, I still can't even really recommend this, because even though everything you'd expect from a Serious Sam game is there, it still feels unpolished. Believe it or not, Serious Sam is not just a case of dumping you into an area and just throwing a bunch of enemies at you. Crow Team puts a lot of effort into spawning enemies at specific times and putting specific enemies into specific encounters. A lot of playtesting happens for these games to make every encounter feel fun. And these battles have you strafing away from tons of enemies and it gives you that sort of adrenaline rush that's just endlessly fun that you expect from a Serious Sam game. That is almost entirely absent in Serious Sam 4. The pacing feels way too slow. The game starts by baiting you into thinking you're playing a Serious Sam game by throwing you into a literal war, then it yanks you out and puts you against a bunch of smaller enemies that spawn a little bit too slowly that really just aren't very entertaining for the next four hours. Occasionally, you'll get that Serious Sam feel where you're being overloaded with enemies, and this is that feeling you love from Serious Sam but then it's gone and the game slows right back down soon after. This is what I mean when I say you can see the good game underneath here, and it just needed more time in the oven and it isn't done. Some of the things they have in this game is just a straight up downgrade from Serious Sam 3. Remember that sledgehammer? The way the sledgehammer might as well have just been a sword that cut through them and got blood over your screen, endlessly satisfying. But in Serious Sam 4, you just get a knife. There are takedown animations, but these are a massive step back from the way they were in Serious Sam 3. You don't rip out anyone's heart or eyeball and throw it at an enemy, and half the time these animations break. I've noticed in co-op, if someone shoots the enemy and kills them as you're doing this animation, they just freeze in place. And you can't even execute medium-sized enemies without getting skill points to add to a skill tree. Now, a skill tree in concept is not necessarily a bad idea. A little odd for Serious Sam, but, you know, if you just add fun things in there, that's fine. And some of the things in here are really fun. There's an entire section of the skill tree that just allows you to dual wield bigger and bigger weapons. Eventually you're going to be dual wielding miniguns. Awesome! The only problem with that is that you run out of ammo really quickly in this game. I always felt like I was choked for ammo and there's never enough. Running out of ammo shouldn't really be a huge problem when it comes to Serious Sam, aside from your obviously strong weapons like the cannon and whatnot. However, some of the other things in this skill tree is stuff that you should just have by default. Why is it I can't reload and sprint until I unlock something in a skill tree? Just have that in the game the moment I start. When you have things in your skill tree that feel more like a mandatory thing you have to do instead of something fun that you actually want, that's a huge pet peeve of mine, and that should never be in a game. The last true addition to Serious Sam 4 are giving you gadgets, and these are pretty cool, and I do like these. One of them is a hologram that just makes enemies all attack it and put all their attention to that so you can kill them. Another one is gas that makes enemies attack each other, but my personal favorite is a literal nuke. There's a lot more of these, but you get the idea. This is the part that really hurts about this game. It's just not finished. It's a good game underneath all that garbage somewhere but it needed another six months to a year in the oven. And who knows, maybe they'll eventually patch it to a point where it's a good game, but as it stands right now, I cannot recommend it. It's simply unfinished, and all the rumors you've been hearing about it are pretty true. That's not to say you can't have fun with this game. Many people watching me on Twitch saw that we were having fun playing it, but the type of fun we were having was more laughing at the game instead of laughing with the game. Talking to random NPCs throughout the city honestly felt like I was talking to random NPCs across the city in Sonic 06, and that's not a comparison you want. So how bad is Serious Sam 4 really? Well, it's pretty unfinished and bad. There's no real other way to put it. If you were thinking about buying this game, give it a little while. See what they do with it. Thanks to all of you that joined me over on Twitch while I was streaming this game. I had fun doing so. I love talking to you guys. My Twitch is twitch.tv slash Jarek4GamingDragon. If you subscribe, you get to see my videos ahead of time. 
Same thing for my patrons over on patreon.com slash Thank all of you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.